Irvin Magic Johnson is undoubtedly the best point guard ever to play the game. He was the ultimate showman, the ultimate competitor, and the ultimate winner, but was really as good as they say? So welcome back guys, in today's video we're gonna highlight Johnson's skills through his games and we will know how incredible Magic Johnson actually is. Let's dive right into it. But before we start our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, No Hesse, for more amazing content. Magic Johnson was a one-of-a-kind player. He was a legit 6 foot 9 inches point guard and the size didn't limit his handles to the point that smaller defenders could just pick him clean. He was strong, athletic, and had insane core vision. The combo of his speed, vision, and strength just made him an absolute nightmare in the game. So if you don't have him in your top 10, I don't know what's wrong with you. You either don't know about basketball or don't know about basketball at all. He was a 12-time All-Star, he made 10 times All-NBA team, he was a 3-time League MVP, 3-time Finals MVP, and a 5-time NBA champion. He has the greatest assists per game average in NBA history at 11.2. <laughs> but that's not all. Now, Magic Johnson was an outstanding team player and had an unselfish approach towards the game. Many people didn't realize how good Magic Johnson really is. That is why I'm going to tell you some amazing facts about his career and achievements that will shock you. He was a 6 foot 9 giant point guard with the greatest court vision imaginable who always wanted to push the tempo the instant his Lakers secured the rebound. Irvin Johnson was his birth name but he earned the name Magic with his incredibly fast, flashy, and mesmerizing style of play. Magic is the definition of a player who makes his teammates better. Every teammate on the court had to be alert at all times because you never knew when Magic would find you creating an easy scoring opportunity. I've actually seen people online criticize Magic for averaging just short of 20 points per game over his career, which to me is a silly criticism considering that Magic has easily the highest assists per game average of all time. Of the top 10 players with the highest assists per game average in NBA history, Magic has the second highest scoring average among those players behind only Oscar Robertson. Magic also a clutch performer, sure he had some shortcomings and briefly had the nickname Tragic Johnson for his failures in the 1984 NBA Finals, but he easily redeemed himself from that and beyond all of that are all the historic clutch moments in game winners of his career from the baby sky hook in the 1987 Finals to his performance in the 1980 Finals. Speaking of the 1980 NBA Finals, Magic has that one game to make his claim as the GOAT. Magic Johnson's rookie season was incredible. As a rookie, he averaged 18 points over 7 rebounds and 7 assists, and that wasn't his numbers that made this season so legendary though. It was that he did on the NBA's biggest stage. I'm sure most of you know the story already, but the Lakers were in hard-fought NBA Finals against the talented Julius Irving led Philadelphia 76ers. In Game 5 of the NBA Finals, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sprained his ankle and would not play again for the rest of the series. The Lakers were shorthanded and decided to start Magic Johnson at center for the sixth game of the series. Wrap your head around this for a second. Magic was the Lakers starting point guard throughout the season and as a 20 year old rookie he was tasked with starting in place of the great Kareem at center. What Magic did next sounds like it came straight from an over the top sports movie script. Magic dominated the game playing at center, forward and guard positions at different points in the game. Based on whatever the Lakers needed on their lineup situations, the Lakers won the game 123-107 to and Magic's final stat line was 42 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists, and 3 steals. It was the definition of a clutch performance and Magic is still the only rookie in the NBA history to win the finals MVP award. Magic is also one of only four players to win the NCAA championship and the NBA championship in consecutive years. 
Imagine any rookie in this year's draft class doing what Magic did, starting the year as a perimeter player and then stepping in at center in the clinching game six of the NBA Finals, dropping 40 to 15 and seven. The internet would explode and media would be declaring him the next big thing before he's even played a game in his sophomore season. It sounds impossible to even fathom, but that's what Magic Johnson did before many of us were even born to appreciate it. This was just the beginning of Magic's illustrious career and of his dominance over the NBA. Magic played in only 12 seasons in the NBA before he announced his retirement due to the HIV virus he obtained. Magic Johnson went to the NBA Finals in 9 of those 12 seasons in the NBA that is astonishingly efficient, he can easily be seen as the standard of NBA excellence. Due to this, how many other legends can say that they led their team to the Finals 75% of the time in their career? Even Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe aren't even close to that level of efficiency. Magic unfortunately doesn't have longevity working in his favor his all time. Statistics were cut short along with his achievements and accolades, yet despite all of that, Magic still put a noteworthy resume together in the short time he was in the NBA. When Magic's career came to an abrupt end because of the HIV virus, he was still an MVP candidate and still far from the end of his elite status. He was only 31 years old, he was at the career average of most 20 points a game, he was the second in the league in assists at 12.5% just a year prior, and he just led his Lakers to the NBA Finals only two seasons after the retirement of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Magic wasn't just great when his career was cut short, he was likely still the best point guard in the game and a top three player in the league. I want you to imagine if other NBA legends had their careers cut short as early as Magic's was, and think about the effects their legacies. Dirk Nowinski would no longer be an NBA champion, LeBron James would never have won his amazing championship in Cleveland, Shaq would have three titles instead of four, Duncan would have four titles instead of five, and Michael Jordan would only have three titles instead of six. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Russell Westbrook would all be entering their final season in the NBA this year. All NBA appearances and just accolades overall there was truly a second half of Magic's career. Then unfortunately, we have never got to witness no one ever talk about this aspect. But imagine if Magic never got HIV and had a career that lasted as long as the other legends like Kobe, Duncan, Kareem, or LeBron, just to name a few. If that had been the case, Magic would have spent his final few years of his career playing alongside of a young Shaq and Kobe. Are you kidding me? I understand that in all of these what if scenarios, there's the whole butterfly effect and that if this what if actually happened, it would have changed the entire league as we know it with all of its ramifications. After sitting out four and a half seasons, he made a comeback late in the 1995-96 campaign, playing the final 32 games of the regular season for the Lakers. After the Lakers were ousted by Houston in the first round in the 96 playoffs, Johnson retired once again. In his 13 NBA seasons, Johnson compiled 17,707 points, 6,559 rebounds, 10,141 assists, in addition to his 1,724 steals. Good for ninth place on the all-time list. He also holds the top marks for most all-star game assists and three-point baskets. In 1996-97, Johnson was selected to the NBA's 50th anniversary all-time team. In 2002, he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. He was the best player of his day? Another all-time great think so. Magic is head and shoulders above everybody else, Larry Bird once observed in the Chicago Sun-Times. I've never seen anybody as good as him. All these stats are in fact a remarkable proof of who Magic Johnson was and how he stunned the world with his brilliant performance and remarkable attitude towards the game. It would not be wrong at all and accept it as universal truth that Magic Johnson is indeed the best of the best players in the history of basketball. Guys, this is it for today's video. What do you think about the great Magic Johnson? 
Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching.